today, we will see some examples related to the tools used in geometry. Example 1. Explain. Opposite sides of a given quadrilateral are equal. The easiest way to find out is to measure the length of each line segment. To measure the length of any line segment, we need a ruler and a divider. Suppose we have to measure the length of the line segment AB. We will place one pointed end of the divider at point A and open the divider and place its other pointed end at point B. Now, maintaining the spread, place one of its pointed ends on the zero mark of the ruler and find the other pointed end pointing to a mark of the ruler. For instance, here the pointed end indicates 7. Since we have used symbols marked in centimetres for measurement, the length of the line segment AB is 7 centimetres. Using the same method, we know BC is equal to 3 centimetres, CD is equal to 7 centimetres and DA is equal to 3 centimetres. Looking at the measurements, we can say that AB is equal to CD and BC is equal to DA. That is, the opposite sides of the given quadrilateral are equal. We can also measure the length with the help of a ruler. But we will have to take some precautions. For instance, we will place the ruler along line AB in such a way that the mark 0 is exactly on the point A. Then we will note the mark where point B is placed on the ruler. Keep in mind, while looking at the mark on the ruler, it is important to place the eye just above the mark. With this, we find that the length of AB is 7 cm. Example 2. Find the measurement of angle DBC using the protractor. If we look at angle DBC, we find that point B is the vertex of this angle and BD and BC are the sides of the angle. To find the measurement of the angle, we will place the protractor at an angle such that its midpoint overlaps vertex B and the line shown on its straight edge, which we also call the zero edge, completely covers any one side of the angle DBC. Like here, it completely covers line BC. Now here the protractor is placed correctly at an angle, so we can measure the angle. Can you tell us which scale will be used to measure the angle? Inner scale or outer scale? Think a little. Absolutely correct. We have to choose the scale on which the inscribed 0 degrees is close to the second point C. Since the inner scale is close to 0 degree centigrade, we will choose the inner scale. Now we see that the other side of the angle represents the 70th part of the inner scale. So the angle will measure 70 degrees. In this way, we can say that angle DBC is equal to 70 degrees. So today we saw some examples related to the tools used in geometry. In the next video, we will deal with some misconceptions related to them.